Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Remember last time all the trouble that we had getting these Olfen into these pens? Let's try this one more time now that we have shut down and restarted. So I want to lead you to there. Unfortunately, there's no feedback. So when you click that, you don't know if you've done anything. The game doesn't click, it doesn't do anything. But now I'm going to tell Carter now, who was trying to lead you out here somewhere to lead Olfen, and now it works. I don't remember getting the lines last time either. I mean, nothing was working. That's what it felt like. Anyway, you're doing that now. Let's zoom in here and watch the uh, the triumphal entry of the Olfen. <laughs> okay, well, I think we actually have Olfen in an Olfen pen now. Good. Simon's got a cold. Ooh. We have an escape pod landing. Olfen is in. Carter's going to get himself some fruitcake. And Olfen should be heading to bed. We have plenty of food. I think we're good here. <clears throat> we're sealed in there. Got a gate here. Do we need a gate here? I don't think so. Though a man gate through this, so not having to go through this guy each time might be uh, might work better. But either way, that is done. This guy now. Um, rescue pod will wait for one day before it leaves. Press the board button. Oh, up there. Uh, to select a survivor and instruct them to board the pod before the time runs out. Who to send? Kana has been suggested. I think I can let this run while I'm talking. There's... Oh, handling orbital antenna. I did set a number... number of them or just Edmund? Is he going to make the run? I think there's a number of them going around. Turning off these antennas and the... Uh, yeah, Paulette just turned off this one. That's 200 power, whatever it is. Amps, watts, what have you running all the time and it's just emptied our, our batteries we got nothing left so we need a day or two to build the mech up again and get these guys constructed to uh, give us some backup power so it was suggested that Kana be the one to leave first and thinking about that <clears throat> she was building the um, pulse rifle if she's leaving, we don't need it. But I don't know how to get this back out of here. I have a feeling if I just hit that X right there, this will be locked up as a... we have an example anywhere? As something like this. A unfinished kit of some kind. And we may not ever have access to those power cells again. So I don't know how to turn this off, change my mind, uh, craft, control, there's just no, let's see, if I were to do this, I got nothing here about tearing them apart, I can tear them apart afterward, I don't think we're going to get four power cells back, we'll probably get just a percentage back, if I right click on it, nothing happens, okay, if I right click in here, all I get is advanced settings down there, so I don't see any way to get these back now that we have this much of it built. And I don't, it took too long to, to, you know, too much effort to get these. And if Khan is leaving, well, Simon does have the ability to craft, and he's quite interested in it. So Simon is a Kana backup. Um, Kana was good at construction, but so is Carter and Edmund. Umayar was my second choice. He His main role was to do the research, and that's pretty much done. So he could take off, except he's actually interested in combat and would be good at defending the base as more of these folks leave. So he has a distinct advantage. Kana was indifferent to combat. She never liked it anyway. She got a negative uh, um, debuff whenever we 
I sent her to battle. So, how do I turn this all off? There. So, I think Kana is probably the one to go, but I think I need her to finish this before that happens. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. So, we can then tear it down. It's the only way I can think of to get those power cells back out. So here's our timer on our rescue pod. Okay. So, they are going to bed. I was going to uh, start this tomorrow morning, but I had a feeling this was coming real soon. So, through the uh, through the recording on. All right, so they are doing that. What more do we need to be planning or thinking about? We do have another... Uh, what would that be? Pretty much double. A little more than double our power. We've now got four solar panels, four more. We've got, oh, we do have four of these guys. One, two, three, I put one out here somewhere, four. So yeah, so it is fully doubling minus the generators. Now, is there any need for more generators? They can run when there's no sunlight and they can run when there's no wind. So I'd say that is a fairly important thing. Um, to me, it feels like they should be indoors. I know if you put the batteries outside, they will uh, break down more often. These haven't actually... Well, maybe they broke down one time. One generator. So, them being outside maybe is not an issue. Okay. Um, if I were to just make a copy of... We have access to power there. What is this actually attaching to? All the way over here. Okay. That's a long run. Or else we're grabbing there. So we could put one more generator right here right next to the fuel source. A little cramped in here. That's a stairway. Insufficient space for something. And that's a walkway through there. Um, put the roof back on. That didn't work. Why can't I see my... I have to get out of this? I have to get out of that. Okay. So, back to where I was. What was this right here? Out of room for berries. So, why did it just suddenly want me to know that? I don't know. Um, we set all these to accept berries. and So, you're really telling me that we're out of room for... All the berries when this fills up. Even with all that, that storage still available. Okay. I think I can live with that. <laughs> yeah, if we don't bring all of those 2,000 berries back down, that will be fine. But we do need to get on that. So, anyway, but let's finish this conversation. Do we want a third or even fourth generator? And if so, where? Copy means what? It doesn't tell me what it's made of here. Oh, there it is. Fuel and, and steel or scrap metal. So that's not that very expensive at all. Um, could even be over here. I mean, aesthetically, it's right next to a window. I wouldn't want that, but that's where it could be. Or we could do something kind of like this. Boom and boom. Could do that. I didn't see if they were connected by power. Actually, I didn't. Um, that looks pretty close. Let's copy you again. I think we are. I think I see them right there. Okay, so they are connected. Alright, well... That's probably, long-term, a good plan. Okay, fuel is there. Only 3.30 right now. Okay, so we do need to get in on working on uh, making more fuel. Uh, Kana is almost done with this. Then what more is there to do before she leaves? I mean, it'd be wise to get a day's, one more day's worth of, where I didn't even see that yet. I didn't even notice that. Oh man, where are you guys at? Okay, we're not going to get those berries for a while, that's for sure. Simon went to get the berries. <laughs> Your pathway is... Are you dead? D 
Does it say who killed you? All right, what, what's been happening here? The rest of you are over here. You are a unfortunate victim. Dead Olfen. And they're eating you. More Olfen over here all being attacked. Yeah. Uh, you alive? You are alive and healthy. I'm looking for a Simon to walk by. Let's see what happens here. There is some distance. They might not notice them. There is a... A fly bug in there right there so there's their next victim you guys are eating berries aggressive animals what was the other one called the the ones that come in really hungry are these the ones that are the following animals have noticed the camp and are preparing to attack in a few hours so this is a normal attack okay and this is going to be our first real test of the gauntlet these are the kind of bugs that would run the whole thing. Finally. Okay. 17 hours left. Okay. So, you gonna make this? Where are you at? Simon? Yeah, I think you're fine. Let's just not do that again. Let's wait till this attack's over. Anybody in here? Oh, we got some in here. Okay. They have spread out a little bit. Simon's over there. So, we'll just... We'll just watch him, guide him home. I think he's going to be okay. There's some big ones up there, the Boom Booms. Yeah, he's going to be fine. Nobody seems to be noticing him. Alright, well, in that case, what is next? I didn't see what time they came in, so this is going to be a surprise to us. Um, power. Really need power. Yeah. So in that case, let's really start concentrating. Edmund is bench pressing. Edmund is in decent condition. Can you get to work on solar panels? And what do these take? They're taking scrap metal. Good. And we do have eight electronics. I think those are guaranteed. You take alloy. We have enough for three of you. And there's more electronics. So Kana is getting ready to make more power cells. I think she needs to make more electronics. So until there's 10 and move this to the top. And this one, is it officially done? Still zero in stock. Now she's, I'm confused. This is the number one on the list. She's getting parts for a power cell. We have the power cells we need. What am I missing here? Hana, craft pulse rifle. Let's get it done. <laughs> and then when you're done with that, well, you need some food. But after that, let's get you to uh, uh, to make some electronics. We got them down in here even. Yeah, they are lurking. Giant ticks. That's what I see there. Big giant tick. All right, so at least 16 hours, Simon is back with the foods. And this Olfen is injured, but managed to flee. I don't know what's going to happen when they run through here toward the traps. They may chase him into the traps, too. We may have a little more red meat than we had planned. It's possible. Okay, so what next to do? Rita's planting? Good. That's this little patch in here. Uh, Carter's building. That's what I was doing. Oh, Carter is building as well. Okay. Okay. So, you're building, you're building. I think I'll leave you guys rather than add these to the list. Let's see if we can... What time is it? 10 in the morning. So, this attack's going to happen with full sun unless a solar flare hits. What do you want to bet? Aggressive animals, okay, 31 are attacking now. So specifically, they're just kind of random all over. Okay. All right, well, let's get everybody in place. Uh, except for Carter and Edmund. They'll go in last. So, Paulette, you are right now halfway through a meal. Going to have to interrupt you. You've got the stun gun. Let's get you to here. Draft right there. Rita 
is in this area anyway. Right over here planting. Okay. So draft gets you next to her. And that's right, both of these services. Concrete on the bug side to take the beating and wood on this side. I couldn't tell if I was looking at a shadow or what. Simon is helping Paulette. And draft. Um, head to here. Edmund, Kana, you stay where you are. You just keep assembling. We've got 14 hours left. Umiar, you come on out here. You've got a sniper. You're good at what you do. And let's put you right in the middle. Draft. You can shoot there. You can shoot there. Okay. Bug attack is happening. So we'll get to see... Oh, we got a boom boom coming in. Yeah, he's already been triggered. Let's make sure we can't blow up our fences anymore. You are going to attack a little further out. You are going to attack... Um, actually, you could be more like here. And let's send you a little more like here. They're going to come from both directions. Okay. Okay, took him out. Is he dead? I didn't see him go boom. Hmm. Okay, well, Olfen's running. He just might survive this thing. If he can heal himself. I haven't noticed that that's possible. Okay. Taking the... the oh, got a boom boom against the fence. That's a problem. At least it's the, the more advanced wood gates here. But still, it's... Need to, we need to take out the boom booms. Okay, so Rita, shoot that one. Umiar, shoot that one. And Simon, shoot. Nope, that one must be dead already. Simon, you stay right where you are. And can you shoot him? Let's see if that's possible. Okay, let's get down in here and watch this. Uh, from what point of view? We'll do it from... Who is this? Simon's point of view. Because he can also... Well, yeah, not really. I'm hoping to get the turrets in the view as well. But we're just too far away from that. Okay, so we'll, we'll see the, the effect of the turrets. So as we start to leave the planet, less of us are going to be up here to do this. And the more we have to depend on, on the turrets doing all the work. Okay, we got to... There must be... Let me see here. Overgrown. Okay. What's the difference between this guy, explosive, and this guy? Overgrown, so only the red ones explode. I see. Not just that they're big, but that they are colored like a boom boom. Wow, look at all those coming in. What was the noise? Damage wooden power pole. Hey, dude! And this one is attacking here. Yeah. Rita. I need you to take this one out, whatever it takes to do that. You go run, take them out. Um, I need an Umayar up here, real quick. Our Olfen are freaking out. Yep, too much activity. What's going on in here? We still have only made it to here, so we still have never tested the, uh, the flames, the flamethrowers. Okay, so Carter... Oh, I forgot. Carter and Edmund. Edmund, where are you? <laughs> You're fleeing. Draft. Shoot. Carter. Draft. And hop up here. Let's watch what you guys are going to do. Did... Reach combat 3, wooden power pole, 15 structures. Where is Rita? Oh, not good. Not good. So Rita, I, I, 
I appreciate your enthusiasm, but um, that didn't do it. So I need you. I guess I need more gates. I need more gates. Yeah. Let's get you to here. No, that's no good either. Um, everything's dead here, though. Actually, there's nothing moving. Okay, fine. You take whatever route you feel you need to take. Okay, so Omir, hop up the ladder. Anything you can... There you go. Now... They can't get there. Okay. Carter, where did you ever end up? You're still thinking about things. Okay. Well, yeah, we need a gate in here. We need to get be able to get to the side a lot faster. Hmm. Carter, I guess I'll just tell you to attack him, and you figure out your your easiest path. Oh, you can go right through the fence, huh? Okay. With that, we're done. All right. So undraft everybody. Go do what you need to do. All kinds of repairs trap resettings and we have nowhere to put more bug meat officially we could strip these things down and just put them right into fuel to run what's going to be a much larger quantity of generators we could Umiar what you doing you are handling stuffs oh you're handling those okay so let's, hmm, when you're done handling, let's go directly into these guys. Let's get another round of fuel going. Kind of surprised to see numbers down around 300. Thought there'd be more than that. Um, timer, 11 hours. Kana is so close to finishing. When she's done with that, I think we say our goodbyes. That means we can turn this room... <laughs> yeah, she's putting it away. Turn this room into the uh, entertainment room. The exercise room. Well, it kind of is now, but we can pull that bed out of there and make it a little more official. Okay, you're putting that there. And... <sighs> grab, a, grab something to eat. What is your favorite? Kana's favorite is... Veggie stew. Do we have one? We do. Kind of grab that instead. Though I, I guess I guess that is what you had. Uh, the symbol that was up there. Okay. Paulette's cooking. Edmund is bench pressing. Is he really hurting that bad? Eh, I guess so. Edmund liked buttermelon pie, and there isn't any. Well, there isn't any there. That's the hard part with putting foods anywhere else, is you can't find them. Meat pies, meat pies. Yep, you'll grab whatever you want, I guess. Alright, so out here... Rita is planting. It should be safe out there now. Though we don't need these planted anymore. Let's turn you off. Uh, no more planting. So you're planting those. Well, we really don't need that either. <clears throat> Run our way out of here. Cure plant, no. Energy crystals, no. We'll keep the bush fruits going. So what you doing now? Rita, no, you're not giving me a pathway. You're planting whatever that symbol is. Why is it? Oh, there's the pathway. Okay, we do not need these anymore. So that's a no. What's your next plan? Planting. That sure looks like this. Yeah, turn you off as well. <laughs> what is this symbol? I don't know. This one. Okay, definitely no more planting there. Okay, Rita, now what you up to? Are you running? Ah, glow caps. Or glitter caps. Definitely those. Okay. Those and these. So yeah, we'll just one by one turn off everything we don't actually have any more need for and, and uh, she'll keep changing her priorities. Carter's repairing a power pole. 
oh, both of our Ulfin are fine. If we have Ulfin babies, which is quite possible, I don't know where we're going to house them. <clears throat> I don't know, other than right here, I don't see that there's another uh, place to put a structure. So, we'll have to see about that. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to set all these guys... Yeah, we'll see. To butcher. Not sure. Let's let things calm down a little bit. Mostly it's preparing for Kana to leave. She is handling a distillery. So drop those in there. And then, why don't you... Go and pet Prince one more time. I don't see a Prince. There he is. Hop in here and pet Prince. And then we're going to see you off. Now watch me get distracted and this thing takes off without her. After all of that. <laughs> so can we tear down that new pulse rifle? Does it require... Do you get more out of it the higher your craft skill is? That's probably a, a valid question. Right there? Yeah. Let's mark you for teardown. And Kana, when you're done, let's have you dismantle weapons. <clears throat> See if we can squeeze that in, in time. Then we need to build power up through here. And then maybe tomorrow I'll turn the antennas back on. Get another round. Okay. Time left. No number. Seven hours. Tearing you down. What are we going to get out of that? Oh, it's the full amount. Four power cells. Okay, nice. Is there a timer? No, no sense of it. No. So we just wait... And there it is. We got our four power cells back. Nice. Okay, so Kana, we could take back what you are wearing. At the very least, we'll take the pistol back. So... Toggle lock. Okay, so change to none. And as far as the rest of the stuff, we're, we're already wearing it, aren't we? So there's no point... And unceremoniously, uh, you know, having you strip off everything of value. Boots would be good. Synthetic boots. We could take these back. Leave those in this room. Beyond that, let's see the the leggings. They're all in decent enough shape. They're gonna they're gonna last, and we've still got a brand new pair there and some synthetics. So yeah, just leave your your boots and uh, we'll call that good transporting let's transport the power cells instead okay put those away and then I think we will say goodbye um, how best to accomplish that I guess we board Hana, where is she at right now? She's done. Handling a cook stove. Okay. So board Kana. And let's tell everybody else to come out and say goodbye. Don't know any other way to do this. I don't know if they'll do it automatically. It's possible they will. Edmund. All right there. Whom we are. You're right in there somewhere. Okay. Is that everybody moving? Rita? She is. Though Kana may get there before everybody else. Let's see. No, she's, she's walking normal. It was hard, but I survived. Goodbye. Yeah, let's get out of that mode and turn all of these off. There we go. Rita, you better hurry. Here she is. And off she goes. Gone. Have a survivor escape. Just got a, uh, a steam uh, achievement. Off she goes. Okay. 
So we are now a crew of six. And you guys all back on. Carter, undraft everyone. Go back to what you need to do. Paulette has pneumonia. Yep. We'll get Edmund to cure her. And we're at 20 hundred. Let's get Carter. Who, Carter Edmund, who is in the best shape? You're both a little rough, but you're repairing something. What are you repairing? Uh, repairing a... I assume it's a furnace. Repairing and repair and one more. Am I missing something? I going to have you get to work on these guys here. Um, Umiar is handling. Better let him. Now, did we get these set back for bricks? We did. Uh, we're going to need some more alloy, though. So let's go ahead and go one more round of alloy. So metal alloys from ore take you to the top and or there's still well there's still 800 total I'm not sure what's actually here uh, click you is that ore? that's silicon all oh, that's silicon okay so no ore in here what are you? ore there's 370 in there okay and you are sticks I'm not sure what you are now, so it's 300 and something. 10 per, so there's 70 per round. Okay, so Reed is back to planting. Umiar is handling a fermentation barrel. Okay, Edmund is repairing fence. Simon is healing Paulette. Ah, Edmund, you are down here. All right, we'll let Simon do it. Let's see how good a job he did. Alright, pneumonia mild is now pneumonia suppressed. And no percentages, so she's doing fine. Okay, so you guys are all doing your things. Rita's planting. I suppose we could tear down this bed. Um, right there, yeah, deconstruct you. And we could move... What else from outside? Anything? Or do we grab things from other rooms? Not sure. We have a chair in here. Shooting star. Meteor with a long tail. Could be a piece of debris or genuine meteorite. Okay, I'm not sure that we will jump into that one. Unless it's really close. You know, five hours or less. Expeditions. Explorer. Shooting star. Star. Let's see this way. All right, what I miss? Debris, spaceship, spaceship. There you are. Okay, you are only four hours away. Okay, I think that's probably viable. Then is that a now? Rita's going to do some more planting while there's still a day of of uh, autumn left okay so Edmund's the other one that would typically go and Carter can handle these so I'd say that's possible um, you could probably do it right now what you doing you are playing an arcade game all right let's just send you off right at the moment so you grab whatever food is closest um, expeditions shooting star There you are. And Edmund. And send. And draft, undraft. And you are heading in to grab meals. Good. Okay. You'll be fine enough. Your, your happiness is in pretty good shape. So you can make an 8 hour run. Without having to go play an arcade game first. Alright. So let the batteries build up more. Yeah, Thunderstorm would be helpful right now. Give us a quick charge on these batteries. Which is another reason to maybe have a fourth battery. So we can absorb even more of those lightning blasts. But that's probably going to be an issue. Alright, batteries are 
Five electronics. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess, Simon, you need to be more directly involved in crafting. I think so. You're our new Kana. So a lot of things are not going to get hauled now. I guess that's the way to look at it. So, manage and activities and Simon. Your assembling has got to go up. That's a number one. The first number one. Now, question is whether or not crafting becomes an issue. We'll, do, we'll take that to two, but not a one yet. Alright, so you're going to be assembling more often than not. No more pulse rifle in here. Electronics are the main thing right now. Power cells, don't need to worry about that. Um, Mac will take you down to two, just to make sure that it doesn't trigger if we use one. Railgun snipers, we're done with that, I think. There's still one in stock, right? Right there. Um, weapons, half, a uh, third, more than half, half. Yeah, I think it's enough to complete the series. Uh, the third was, I think, Rita. And if she has to, we do have the one back up. But as they leave, they'll be leaving their weapons behind, too. So, in fact, the rest of these um, these guys here, the laser pistols, can all be marked to be torn down. Give us two more power cells that way, too. And you are a pulse rifle. You would give us two more power cells. Oh, let's do that. Tear you down. <clears throat> there was there's almost no life left. Boy, I didn't think about that. Could have gotten back all the materials, or we get back nothing, I, I assume, if it completely breaks. So good. We'll have seven power cells at that point. So you guys are, do not need power cells. Uh, neither did you. Neither did you. Just the electronics. So, um, Simon, electronics are going to be your major issue. Uh, not enough resources. Electronics take what? Metal alloys. Okay. So, in that case, Simon, when you get up, you're in good shape. You're just going to work the metal alloys for a while. Then you should get enough, because this is going to take up everything we've got. In fact, it already has. These guys metal alloys, too. Uh... There. Nope, that's scrap. So where did... We had 81. We didn't use any here. We didn't use any here. So what did we use them on? Don't know. Must have been important. Alright, so Carter, when you're up, I need you to work on... Let's see, you're just about done. Let's get all these traps reset. Handle traps. Handle traps. Traps and traps. I miss anything? Oh, there's one. Anything over in this area? And one. That should be all of those. Okay. Um, shooting star complete. Discovered some interesting rocks. They likely contain ore. So he's going to bring back another load of ore. Perfect. Does it say how much? 40. Okay. And that'll go right into the furnaces. All right, so I was considering having Umiar do some butchering. We've got down to 500 insect meat. Yeah, I think that probably would be wise. So you need a meal. You liked bread. No bread available. Okay, so your happiness, you'll be outside, so let's give you some fruitcake. Then let's have you out here, spend the day. Mm, I guess I'm going to have to trigger these to make that work, right? Butcher you guys, overgrowns, and explosives. We'll leave it at that. Overgrowns have 21, explosives have or 25s, and these guys have 5s. Okay, we'll stick to the, good, the big ones. Uh, any more big ones? Well, that's probably enough to 
do what we need to do. So in that case, Umiar, when you are done, come over here and take out all of the explosives and the overgrowns. Yep. That one. Those. That one. So you can spend the day just working on these guys. Right there. Okay. Carter is just about done with this job. After that, what? These, but I take it we are... Oh, we are loaded. Okay, we are loaded for the most part with these. So we need electronics. We have eight electronics. I guess it's just a matter of getting them out there. Okay. So Carter, when you're done with that, come grab... Meat pie, dried meat. You're in good shape, so we'll just use dried meat on you. And then come out and... Missing resources. I thought... No, I guess we have zero. We have zero. Okay. Alright, well... Simon's getting these going. We could... Pull 25 out of one of these. Undo the construct. Simon... Right click. I can't say take the 25 out. I guess I could just shut you down. Then Simon needs meat pie. Then he needs to make electronics. And I will, in fact, will cancel you as well. So there's enough to, for electronics for a while while these are cooking. Then we'll get those reset. Carter's eating. Then, Carter, I guess you'll just continue working on fencing. Getting us bricked in. Umiara is butchering. Uh, Umiara, your condition is decent enough. Sure. Are these done yet? No. Nope. What kind of time is left? Some of those just started. The other ones are more than halfway done. Yeah, it'll be a while. Do we get more barrels going? Probably not. Probably not necessary. We can just maintain. Um, to repair... Just need one each. Let's go ahead and set these guys to repair. You are fine. Those are all fine, so none of those have been attacked. Anything else to repair? Double click on all those, nothing shows up. Uh, wood? No, nope. I'll repair. Okay. You repair. So these aren't marking automatically. Interesting. So we'll do that again. Um, so does this one get marked? It looks like it's done, so it's fine. But let's do that. Nope, no sense of a repair order in there, so those are fine. Did this all get rebuilt? It did. Okay. A lot of wind blowing right now. It's noon. All right, Simon is crafting. You are doing a lot of walking. You're crafting by delivering the, the alloy to here first. Okay. You need five electronics. Wow. I need you guys going first. Okay, so you are going to be no construct. These guys need to happen first. Simon is now getting what? Boy, you were doing a lot of delivering for assembling a circuit board. Yeah, old habits. So, Paul, at one less mouth to feed. Just noticing we're not making a lot of the quick meals anymore. I must have moved them down in the list. We always seem to be going to the chef meals and tasty meals. Which is good. It's They're more valuable meals. But... Um, so seven of those are emergency rations. So of the 17, there's only 10. 
Seven tasty meals. Okay. These are the ones we tend to eat the most anyway. The meat pie. Well, veggie stew is not an issue now. And the buttermelon pie and bread. Okay. So Carter is constructing. What does that mean? Oh, he's moving alloy. I thought we had these already loaded. I guess that one was partially. Okay. And that is... Who? It is Pooh. Okay. It's 40, and Edmund just brought 40, so I thought maybe it was that one. So Carter's reconstructing, meaning he's uh, rebuilding walls. That's good. Paulette, Rita, what you up to today? You are planting through these areas, which is probably never going to be used. Let's, you're in good shape. Good enough. Too cold to plant these. Ah. Too cold. Too cold. So why is it okay to plant these? So these are not too cold to plant. Okay. In that case, there's more over here. There's a Pankoth floating in. Where did he go? I must have gone in the tree. There he is. Yeah. So this is the end of day two? It is. I'm almost 50 minutes into this. Wow. Went by quickly. So who's next? Debate that amongst yourselves. Edmund and Carter are kind of redundants. But until all the fencing is done, I'm not willing to let go of either of those. Um, Umiar is really good at doing all the piddly little stuffs. And we need lots of bricks and lots of alloy, so he's got his strengths. Simon is definitely going to be needed for a while. Get the rest of these circuit boards done. I wonder how quickly we're going to get through all of this. I mean, Rita, her, well... Her major strength is that she does the planting. We're going into winter. So she will need that. She's also good at ranching, so she could train Prince. Who's at number five? Prince, can you go there? You can't. Uh, I can draft Prince now and go there. Well, look at that. <laughs> so Prince, draft, and can I... Let's send you to the front line. There he goes. Okay, well that was an important discovery. Or important milestone. Needed to be able to move the pets out of the way. So Umiar is transporting 60. So he's doing some transportings. Carter is scavenging. He, oh, he went to get the 30 that he found last time. So when you're done, you need to relax. But can you also do some transporting? Or are we... Yeah, let's, let's assign you to do the furthest... No, Umiar's got that assigned to him, too. This one also? Yeah. All right, Umiar, you just have a ball. Bring in as much of that meat as you can. And I think we got the most meat for the... You know, most bang for our buck by taking out the big ones rather than five apiece or five at a time out of those guys. So, yeah, you guys are bringing those in. Edmund's getting foods and probably settling down for the night. Now I guess you have a little more time ahead of you. Let's we'll see what you dive into next. Simon. He's gathering parts for looks like a weapon. Why does it look what is this? Another soldering bench. I forgot I put in another soldering bench. <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to do whatever you want without me even seeing it. Huh? Secret soldering bench. Okay, destroy you. And actually, Carter, when you're done, you can do just that. So drop those off and then deconstruct this. I need Simon to be working on electronics and nothing but electronics. Yeah, have you gotten even one? You got one done. Okay. So grab the silicon. So electronics is silicon. Let's see here. Silicon would be in this pile. And we still have 430. Okay. 
So we're fine there. Uh, Carbon is, or Carbon, Edmund is going to construct a, oh, he's bringing one electronic out. Okay, good. So power-wise, we're there. Okay. Then let's fire this up one more time. Turn on. Turn on. And turn on. Edmund is in horrible condition. So when you're done, you can handle this one. And you're going to go play a musical instrument. Who else can do things around here? Carter's bringing this in, and he's got another assignment already. Paulette is making oils, and that's pretty important. Uh, Rita is sitting. So Rita, when you're done, you're going to... Actually, right now, you're going to do this, and then this. Handle. And then you can come over and sit, or whatever you need to do. Actually, you need to eat. So after that, why don't you grab a meat pie? Okay. Um, Simon, Edmund, Umiar is bringing in all that meat. So he had quite a productive day. Good. He needs foods and relaxation. He's starting to, starting to tank. He's he's a tired boy. So dropping all of these off and grabbing some bread. He likes that. And getting something to eat. Good. So Rita's doing her thing. Edmund is going through. So yeah, we need to think about a gate here. Um, you copy and drop you in to here. So a little bit easier way to get in. Faster way. Carter is off scavenging. Did you do what I asked? Dude. In queue. Now let's let's do it now. Tear that thing down, get the parts back. What will it get if I tear it down? Uh don't see an easy representation of that. No, nope, doesn't tell me. Okay. Simon is sitting in Carter's bedroom. So this bench or this chair probably needs to be put in here. And I'd say this needs to be put in there too. So we're going to relocate you to here. We're going to relocate you to... That's a window. That's a desk. Right there, possibly. Okay. And what else did we stick in bedrooms that we shouldn't have besides foods? Although foods, I hadn't thought about that. <clears throat> hmm. We could almost turn that into another freezer. We can put this guy right here and a door right here. And then these, well, some of the foods, these foods, they haven't been brought in yet. They haven't. Ah. Simon is assembling now. Yeah. So when you're done, Simon, you grab a meat pie. Simon, meat pie. You get some sleep. And then first thing tomorrow morning, you get up here and bring back a whole bunch of berries. And I've got to figure out where those are even at. What are you... You're a dead bug. So, I think these are the plants that we stripped down. Sure looks like it. Foods? We have 3,000 berries. So, they're over here? 1,500 berries are over here. Okay. So, Simon, when you're done... There they are. Come and haul those tomorrow morning. All right, that's your orders for the for the night or for for next episode. So, Paulette, Rita, when you are done, training is probably not that big a deal anymore. Prince can move by command. That was the goal. Um, Rita is sleeping. 
Yeah, if I think of it, I'll manually click in here and get her to uh, to get some more plantings done in case she is one of the next ones to leave. So Simon's busy. Edmund, you are petting an orphan, just you know because. And then you need to go to sleep. Okay. Umiar already is, and he'll probably spend his next day working on furnaces nonstop. And that one. In fact, we'll set that one just to remind me next time to make sure that those get done. All right, with that, I think I'm going to call this one done. We've, we've lost Kana, and I think Rita might be next, but uh, give me your thoughts on that. I think she is the most dispensable at this point. I mean, she is good at combat. There is that. And she's good at cooking. So she, not as good as Paulette, but she could take over cooking because she is interested in combat and Paulette is not. So I think the debate is right in here for next time. Let me know your thoughts on that. So with that, let's call this one finished. This is Benoble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.